Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, so daily chart, then we'll then we'll flip over to the hourly. But we've had these these two trading range lines up on the chart for a few sessions now, and we talked about if there was a break of the new weekly and monthly pivots that we needed to head down and test the bottom of this range. And if the bears were able to break through, they could, you know, extend it lower. What we saw yesterday was a move right down to that range. It was defended. And now we've bounced up off of that range to the tune of about 15, 16 handles. Um, it, you can see it here on the hourly chart. So we talked yesterday, we talked about lower highs. We talked about what at that time was a test of weekly pivot, losing weekly pivot and monthly pivot. We thought the test was coming. We talked about that Monday morning before the open. We got the test. The test held back up above, but then what you saw the bears do is take back weekly and monthly. Once this monthly gave, then the support zone here that we've had laid out going back for you know over a week now, that opened up for yet another test, and it held yet again. And you can see the big push into the close. That's been followed through with, uh, with a move overnight. We're now back up over the monthly pivot. And now I would have to say that the weekly pivot at 54 is, um, is, is a magnet for price. I would expect that to be touched at some point this morning. Uh, so what do we do in the room? Well, it was a very whippy morning. Uh, we were able to get in tune with a short from 53. Uh, we took that down uh, to the support zone. Uh, we had longs down there, but they whipped us out and got pretty close to the close. So uh, at least the, the intraday folks missed out on the move higher. But I have longer term people that trade off of a, a lot of what we discuss here. And, and they are, you know, they're, they're, they are long off the support zone seeing just how far it can carry us. Now, what's the top of the range? The top of the range is 68. And before you say, oh, well, we're not going to do that. Well, we've already done it. We did it here. Down. Test. Right back up. So don't think there isn't fuel for 68. We're two sessions away from the, uh, from, from the jobs report. So keep that in mind. Um, so... This is a situation where the bears are the bears are going to have opportunities to try to defend these areas, but as it stands now, we're sitting uh, we're sitting now above the daily mid band again. We are above the monthly pivot and we're below the weekly pivot. So I was a lot more optimistic about the bearish side when I wrote my my market view, you know, an hour and a half ago than I am now, simply because. This stall, all it did was flag down, hopped up, and made a and made a higher high. Now the bears are going to have to defend 54, and they they better do it. If they don't, then it opens up a move to the high from Tuesday, in the area of uh, of 2160, and then it'll have to deal with the top of the uh, of the trading range. All right. Everybody have a fantastic day. Follow us over at Twitter, at Princeton Trader. Check out the website, PrincetonTrader.com. Come check out the chat room. Come trade this stuff with us. Come trade it in real time. Uh, come trade it with me, talking in your ear like this all day long, uh, talking you through trades. And, and uh, uh, you know, we've, we've refined some of the things that we've done in the room uh, in order to, you know, to, to shepherd more people into stuff and to kind of keep everybody on the same path. Uh, if for no other reason, you know, my number one job is to keep people out of trouble. And then I teach you how to trade, and then we try to find some setups along the way. So come join us. I think you'll like what you see. I'll be back tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.